Green flag from starter Donnie Forbes, and Schulich doesn't have to go to the outside down here at one. He has already got the lead. Here's Danzer digging deep down on the inside with Iosu on the outsu. Barnes and Sidley right beside them now. As Iosu goes by Danzer, here comes Sidley on the outside. Sidley working on the 52. He comes around him as well. As we finish lap number one, here comes Michael Barnes on the outside. Barnes he moves up to fifth. Danzer falls to sixth. Bellinger seventh. Champagne eighth. Then it is Sean Goslin and Joe Gosick ninth and tenth. Here in the race, 18 remaining. The halfway mark is here. And hard into the wall, the 0-1 of Danny Connors. Danny Connors hard into the wall down here right underneath us. Something broke on the 0-1. Oh my. Just did a right hand turn. Yep, Danny Connors is walking under his own power. That's the best news you can hear. Uh, it had, I did not see what happened, but it had to be a very vicious hit because this car is junk. Back to you guys. You know, I don't, uh, I don't think anybody was particularly near him. Uh, I know he was well enough behind the 77 of Goslin, and I don't think the 98 of Tyler Thompson was very close to him. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is walking back across the track. Da damage on all four corners of that car. Uh, you know, you never know how bad it really is until you get it back to the shop and take it, up, take the skin off it. Getting close now with four laps to go, actually three and a half to go. Sidderly now trying to close more ground here. Schulich up on the outside, could not make the pass. Sidderly has reeled him in. Here is Schulich on the outside of Bellinger. Here is Sidderly to the inside. Sidderly, they brush. Sidderly has to back out. Schulich hangs on to the lead. They are still behind Bellinger. Working on the rear deck of the deuce of Dave Schulich. Schulich closes it back in on the 0-2. Sinderley to the inside. Sinderley makes the pass. And Schulich bangs it off the wall, keeps it going. Sinderley made the pass. I don't know if they touched or not. It was darned awfully close. Schulich in second. He's not happy. He runs into the back end of Sinderley. And they're both being sent to the rear. Typical. Both cars are going to be sent to the rear, I am hearing. As they are in behind Bellinger. Sitterly uh, dives to the inside, and they did touch side by side, no question about that. Uh, Schulich not happy. As they come down, checkered flag is out. The win goes to the 68 Michael Barnes. 11, Eric Iosu is second, 50, Dave Gruel is third, 55. Ladies and gentlemen, the hustler Michael Barnes hustles his way to a win in the first Novella Super Modified Twin 35. Let's hear it for Michael Barnes. I heard the caution come out and uh, I, I got my hand up. I'm like, Where, where's the caution? And then I uh, heard uh, Chuck, um, uh, I don't know, chastising the two and the seven there over the radio, so I figured they, they were so far ahead. I mean, I had a good car. Uh, they're just so much better. I mean, it's, I, I mean, I was pretty happy with the car, but I mean, hey, I mean, we're really third, you know, but well, I mean, I'd rather be lucky than good anyway, so we'll, we'll take it, you know. Anytime you can bring the car home second and it's in one piece and it's handling pretty good, well, I'm not going to complain. So we've had a trouble finishing races so far this year, so a second's a big what, exactly what we needed. We kind of actually lucked into a third place tonight. I don't know what happened between the two uh, blue cars up front, but whatever, they got their issues. So um, we took advantage of it and top three, I'm not gonna complain about that. It's car was a little bit off, but uh, car was a little bit off the first um, of the 2050s of the Jim Champagne Memorial. So hopefully we can make some gains and have a little bit better in the second race. It's this week on New York in the Bruce Construction car number 22, the double deuce of Mike Bruce. They wind them up, the small blocks ready to come to action. Down they come, off a of turn four, bottom part of the speedway. Mike Bruce going up into that number one spot, O'Connor. Right there in the number two spot, up on the outside. Camden proud. Camden now shuffling around. They crowd up, coming off a of turn number two. Jack Patrick with a good stretch drive as he has picked off a couple of cars. Meanwhile, the leaders bringing it around the complete left number one with Mike Bruce, Camden Proud, and Danny Kay riding in the top three. Second, Camden Proud, Greg O'Connor, 
in the top four, and we got yellows. We got a looper. It's the eight car. And now here is Danny Kay. Danny looks onto the inside. He's got a whole car down onto the inside. We got a new leader down in between turns number three and four. Danny Kay brings it down. He is now number one. Bruce is second. Camden Proud is third. Brownie now trying to go to the outside. Brownie goes to the outside. He hooks the number 13. The Hoosiers hooking really good up onto the outside. Bringing him down here in the front straightaway. Brownie is up to the number two spot. Brownie is wearing hot shoes right now. Still second place and we got action. It's Camden Proud in the 54 and I believe the 22. Up to seventh now is Jack Patrick in the mighty Mopar. And right now, look who is up to the number two spot. It is Anthony Lasorto with a quick move coming down into the corner. And Anthony turns a quick lap. Watch what he's gonna do. He's gonna go to the outside, now to the inside, down the front straightaway. And Anthony goes down into turn number one, a new leader. Anthony Lasorto, the new leader. Off that fourth corner, the checkered flag waves in the air. The win goes to Anthony Lasorto, Danny Kay second, Russ Brown third. That was a fantastic run for Anthony Lasorto. It was impressive enough that he actually passed Russ Brown to take second, and then he passed a very hungry Danny Kay to take the win. Uh, I knew we were starting towards the back, and. I knew that Mike Bond and Russ Brown were going to have to be starting behind us this week, so we decided to put four new tires on it, and we just came right up through the field. I know I made a pretty late move on Danny, and he's my teammate, but I'm glad we didn't wreck, and both of the Missile Motorsports cars are on the podium for another week. Got the good run on him now. Green is out. Gosek took advantage of Iosu, trying to get ahead of him a little bit and went away for the lead as Gruel now got pushed to the outside a little bit. Here comes Barnsey moving up to the number five spot. Champagne running in six, they go around the outside of the 52. As Barnes moves up to fourth, Champagne goes by Dancer to take over fifth. From the 11 America Iosu, Joe Gosek. Now here comes Barnes on the outside. Barnsey, where to get on the number 50 of Dave Gruel. Takes it down here into turn number one. It slides down to the inside. Michael Barnes moves up into third. Working on the 11 of Osu. Down the front straight. Gosick out in front. Barnes takes over second. Centerly going to run around the outside as well. Otto Centerly moves into third. Here's a spin for LeVay. And he catches the 71 of Centerly. Yellow flag coming out. Uh, we may have to go red here. Latulip and Murray, they go around the zero of Murray. Now working on the 56 of Latulip. Here's Barnes down to the inside. Barnes on the inside of Latulip. And he takes the lead away from Gosek. And a beautiful move. Used the 56 as a pick. Went to the inside and took the lead. Down the back straight, Gosek trying to hang on. And he does going into turn three. Coming down, checkered flag to win. Goes to Michael Barnes, here's the battle for second. Down the back front straight, it's the double zero. Gosick in second, Sinnerly third. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big hand for double feature winner tonight, Michael the Hustler Barnes. Uh, you know, car was pretty good. Just, uh, hey Joe, he's a cagey veteran, you know. I mean, trying to get him, and I just had a perfect timing with a lap car there. and. He had to check up enough and he went up high and I just had a good enough run and it stuck and it was going to be my one shot, you know. I, it set up perfect for him. I got committed on the outside and slowed down and he got the diamond off underneath both of us. I, the timing was perfect. I, I mean, if, if I was up on them more and could have pinned him down, he would have never done it. But, I, you know, sometimes you win some, you lose some. Yeah, it was okay. We got our cage rattled in the first one, so it wasn't as good in the second one, but... You know, I, I don't know. I don't agree with decisions in the first one. Uh, the two got into me over in turn two, bent the front end, and I stuck it underneath them down there. Yeah, we brushed. I don't know what happened to him. I kept going, and then Charlie there, kingpin upstairs, pat me to the back. So I don't know what that's all about, but it was wrong.